The people of Ukraine show no signs of slowing down in their fight to defend their country. Now, over the last few months, Durham documentary filmmaker Steve Boston has helped CBS 17 hear from Ukrainians firsthand. And tonight, they share their needs and just what they are witnessing. As fighting intensifies in the east, just how long could the war between Ukraine and Russia last? It depends on Russia. It depends on how exhausted they are. And definitely it depends if there is embargo, full embargo on trade with Russia is imposed by uh, the West. The former Ukrainian Minister of Infrastructure also says it depends on the West supplying weapons. Current uh, Minister uh, Volodymyr uh, Arayev uh, agrees. Uh, uh, Ukrainian military forces now, they are working at the maximum of uh, what they can do, uh, having uh, the uh, current uh, equipment, military, uh, military equipment. In the meantime, bordering countries like Poland continue to see millions of refugees. Some, though, have headed back to Ukraine, according to Kaya, a Polish volunteer. This uncertainty is even worse than the lack of security, you know. While those who remain in Poland far outnumber those who go back, the reason women are returning is nothing short of tragic. It's, it's really sad because some of them also go there to, to, to bury, you know, their kids, friends, children, so it's, it's really shattering. Ukrainians have been resilient and resolute. Their successful sinking of a Russian warship, an instant morale booster. It shows once again that Ukrainians are not only strong to fight uh, land armies, but we are also good in fighting in, in the sea and in the air. Uh, definitely, if we have sophisticated weapons, it would be much easier. Again, a repeated plea. We, we, we are really vitally need uh, the assistance uh, and the aid, military aid from the world. We keep hearing that repeated again yeah. and again. You can, of course, find more of my reporting with Steve Boston at CBS17.com.